Okay, so I don't feel like animating this, so you guys are just gonna be looking at a black screen. So, um, I one time fractured my finger, um, and I still have this car today. Um, but here's how. So since I go to Mexico every single summer, uh, I, to visit my family, um, and also, because my birthday's in the summer, for my birthday, we went to a park. It was a lot of fun. There used to be a little train for kids there, but then they took it down. And so, when, uh, I didn't skip this video. <laughs> so, there were some handicap swings, but I didn't know that there were handicap swings at the time. But, those handicap swings were being used by a bunch of kids. Like, there were a bunch of kids on one hand. Let me draw it. Okay, so it was kind of like this, but there were a lot more kids. So, um, they had told us to sit down and hold on for dear life. So, I wanted to stand up. Yeah, I'm going to draw me. No. There I am. <laughs> so um, Suki, what are you doing? Mm, Suki, that's my dog. So, I was sitting there at the back where there was a ramp. And so, I didn't know, since I didn't know that it was for handicapped people, I didn't know that it was a ramp for people to get on. And it wasn't chained or anything. It was just a ramp, and they had closed it, but you needed to like chain it and stuff, and lock it, so that people wouldn't fall out. So, I had sat down, like they told me to, but I wanted to relax while doing it. So I grabbed onto the ramp and that was a terrible idea. So here's the ramp. I'm doing it lazily, but it was a lot better. So these were the handles. And I had decided to hold on to these while sitting down so that I could relax. But then, bum, 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 the ramp opened out of nowhere. Probably because I was leaning on it. And, um, here. Let me show you how low the swing was to the ground. This is how low it was. This is the swing. This is the ground. So, the ramp had opened. And I had somehow done a somersault with my head.
and I had landed under the swing. My mom denies it, but I swear that I was knocked out. Yeah. But I swear that I was knocked out. Underneath it, and um, there was a lot of sand in my mouth. And so. I swear that I was knocked out for for a few seconds. So, um, when I woke up, like they had dragged me out. Uh, so I woke up under the swing and I started squirming, scared. And apparently, my mom was extremely relieved because she had thought that she had lost me, like I died, but I didn't. So I'm still here. You're welcome for being cringy. Uh -huh. So, she had thought that I had died. But I didn't. Now, I wasn't happy, but I was happy that I didn't die. So they had given me a neck brace. Color the cyan. So, I had to wear a neck brace, and um, when we got to the hospital, they, um, they wanted to put, you know those, like, bags of, hang on. Okay, so you know these, like, little bags that people give that doctors give you yeah they wanted to put that in my arm and my mom convinced them that it wasn't necessary so thanks mom so um then after that when we had gotten home we had to go to the hospital a second time and they took off my fingernail because there was a bruise under it and it was going to fall off anyway. So they had numbed my finger and they had taken it off. And, um, and they had to sew it back on. Don't search up what's under your fingernail because when I saw it, I was disgusted. So... Um, they had to sew it back on so that when my fingernail regrows, it grows back in a normal way. So, luckily, my finger regrew in a normal way. We, but I always had to have this quote-unquote cast. which was just some cloth that covered my finger. So, um, and also whenever I went into this water, into water, I had to wear a rubber glove with a rubber band over it so that water doesn't get into my cast and it was just it was really uncomfortable Oops.
It was just extremely uncomfortable. But now I have a battle scar. By the way, it was on my left ring finger. So yeah. My fingernail is normal though, which is good. So, bye.